for me, I think, I still think there's women here in the U.S. It's, you know, it's something still out there. I still have hope for them. But dang, it's hard. <laughs> Not a man here who can censor me. I'm on the pier, Elohim with the energy. Uh, black boy, tell me how you really feel. I just want to build with you. Black Hypothetically, mm -hmm. you get a time machine. Yes. <laughs> we love the time yes, machine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you get a time machine and you can put it like this. You can go back to one of three points in history, either... Before you met your ex-wife, okay. uh, midway through dating her and potentially deciding I'm going to marry her, or um, right after what happened happened and you were in that dark place, and you could go back to one of those three times and talk to Corey of that time, which time would you go to? Hands down, before all of it happened. <laughs> Hands down. And what would you say? I'd be like, yo, Corey, you that dude, dog. You just need to be single. <laughs> you need to be single. You in college. Just do what you just just take your days by days. Just don't even worry about nothing. Focus on yourself. Focus on your studies. Focus on what you want to do. And everything will come later. You're still young. But you know, when you go to college, you feel like you're grown. You know? So um, I would say that would definitely be the point. Just focus on yourself, focus on your studies. Um have experiences and just live life, you know? That would be my main tip. And then that probably would change the narrative of a lot of things. <laughs> Definitely, hands down, that's what I would do. Um, honestly, I just feel like when it comes to dating, for anybody that's watching, I think everyone should just take their time, no rushing, be true to who you are for both parties, men and women, and really do a good job at venting People, everybody just gets so fixated on how they look, how the sex is, that they don't really vet people and understand if this person is truly compatible with what I'm looking for in my lifestyle and where, not what it is, but where I want to be too. Um, and, you know, I think that's one thing we didn't hit on when I know, I'm going to say a story real quick. Talk to me. So I remember I was talking to this girl one time. I was like, she is solid. We talking, everything going good. And I was like, usually if I see that this woman have potential and things like that, I'm not trying to rush to have sex. Usually I'm rushing to have sex if I know I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm out. But I'm not rushing to have sex with a woman I'm truly, truly interested in. So, you know, I'm truly interested in her. We're taking it day by day. And then I remember one day she... Uh, reached out to me and she was like, I don't know if you're interested in me because you haven't tried to have sex with me yet and everybody that I talk to want to have sex with me within the, like two days. I've heard that story a lot, brother. And I, and I was like, ah, oh, that's interesting. But I say that because I know that sometimes sex can cloud things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if we rush into it too quick, if we want something to be everlasting, it might mess up what we currently have going on. So I say that to say is like properly vet people. And that comes with not saying that you should have, you shouldn't have sex on the first day or whatever. If it's, if it's a vibe, it's a vibe. But also understand that sometimes, you know, being physical too soon can potentially, you know, mess things up and mess the trajectory up on certain things. Have you seen the Bronx Tale? No. Bronx Tale, it's, it's this, it's this uh, old mob movie. But this dude, he was dating this black girl. He was Italian. Yeah. But uh, his OG told him, he was like, because um, this was probably in the 70s or something like that. But he was like, you know, how you see if a girl is for you, you, um, you open her car door, let her in the car, and then you swing around back to get into the driver's seat. And if she reaches over to unlock the door then she's really riding with you. But if you have to unlock the door, she's just there for the ride. Yeah. So like, what's your go-to? Because when you say vet, right? Do you have a go-to, I right, so I, I do this, I take it to the swimming pool and it's home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what, <laughs> what's your go-to? Right. This is what I do to really see, or maybe just low level, high level, to yeah, really yeah. see if, all right, she, I, I, you know, I keep I would she, say mainly do conversation, you know, whether that's in person, on the phone, whether y'all FaceTime or whatever, like really having a conversation and truly see like who this person 
who this person is, who this woman is. Because like we said earlier, what's being perceived may not be the reality. So you have to make sure it matches up. And that's that's my job. You know, I feel like as a man, you should do a great job of vetting to make sure if you're going to get in a relationship or you want to take things seriously, you, you should have done your job as a man to make sure you ask the right questions before you lock it down. Because once you lock it down and you ain't asked those questions and these things start to come up, it's a little challenging. Yeah, it's a little challenging. So I would say asking the right questions and to your point, it's like little things. Like you said, I wouldn't say per se the car door thing, but- Yeah, because um, it's all automatic yeah, now, so yeah, it, doesn't really, yeah. it doesn't work. But I would say little things like um, her interaction with the waitress or her interaction like if my order was messed up, how she handled that situation. Like little things like that to see like, how would she handle these situations once they come up in everyday life? Um, and just taking like mental notes. And nine times out of 10, it's not me positioning these things to happen. It's just like as we're dating or as we're, you know, out, I'm just taking mental notes as the time go on. And then I just usually do like a go back home, think to myself like, oh, she handled that pretty well. Oh, she didn't handle that well. Okay, I'm taking a mental note on that. And then once we get to a certain she ain't handled that well, I know she's not really the one for me because I'm looking for a woman that's going to be able to handle these certain situations with grace versus turmoil, whatever may, may have happened. How will you know when you're ready to, to take that leap again? Oh, that's a good question. Honestly, it just got to be a right fit. And that's one thing I do think well, that's one thing I do appreciate about the situation that happened. I am more vigilant on what I expect out of my next potential wife uh, and long-term partner. So um, I, I just know. I know the. I know. I know. It's, it's going to take me all day to explain exactly what I'm looking for and what it needs to be. But I know what I didn't have and what I need now in order to take that next step. Yeah. So like in hindsight, I look back at that situation and be like, well, yeah, this happened. But were you fully happy, too? Mm. You know? Right. And then I took a look back and be like, well, this is what I'm going to need in the next marriage or this and that in order for it to go smoothly. All right. I just thought of one more question. Oh, <laughs> it's a debate right now. Some yeah. people say they're more marriage ready men. Some people it's black men. Some people say it's more marriage ready black women. Having been married and having been out outside, <laughs> yeah. how would you, how would you, where, where do you fall on that spectrum? Like, who do I feel? What delegation you feel like is more ready, equipped to like, I think the assumption is women, right? Right, right. So maybe answer, is it, is it that simple? I think the assumption is women just because it's women and that's the way we've been programmed. But once you actually get out there in the field, <laughs> when you outside, <laughs> when you outside, man, who? Because like in my single life, I done came across like women that's like some legit solid women, just wasn't the one for me. And I came across women that was like, damn, you really like that, huh? Mm. So I done seen both sides now. So who? I still was side on the women though. I was still side on. Them. But is it is it because that far? Is it is is are they winning by that wide of a margin? No. Okay, oh, no. okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not by that mark, no. But just from my experience of dating, I think it was more, you know, women that I've dated where I can say, oh, she seemed solid. And I just made a decision like either I wasn't ready or either she just didn't fit like what you trying to do. Yeah, what I'm trying to do and like what what's going on. So that's just from my experience. So, but you know, I have friends, homeboys, in several groups. Do people be talking about marriage like that? Nah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's not to say men aren't ready, but you know, I just feel like those conversations typically don't come up in those groups like that. That's facts. I don't think, I don't honestly, bro, I don't think women these days are as interested in it. In marriage? Yeah, I think, definitely I think not they as much like, as it was back in the day. I think they yeah. like the idea of it. I, yeah. think, I think it's one of those things where like back in the day it was a little bit more cut and dry because I needed, as a woman, I right. needed this man to right. buy property, to do this, to do that. And now nowadays women feel like they don't need a man right. outside of what he can do for them. 
So I think if we were being honest, and I, and I interview these women, and it's like, it really doesn't sound like you want the responsibility that comes mm. along with this institution. Yeah. You just want the it's validation. A lot, it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Because honestly, when we think about it, technically, if a woman get married to a man, that commitment, that union, the vows, through death, through health, whatever. So basically, if they get married tomorrow and this man the next day need to be on a hospital bed for the rest of his life, she got to be there to take care of him. I don't think not a woman. Mm, I don't feel like that no more. Not a lot of women were built like, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna ride for him on his hospital bed that, that long, and that's sad. But that goes to show you like where the marriage kind of shifted. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, that woman go stick by that bedside with that man. But nowadays, a lot of I feel like a lot of questions would be like, well, damn, what, 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 what my everyday life gonna look like now, or how my life got style gonna change now that he not able to do this, or how will this look like? If we trying to do this and that, now we can't really do that. Did I really sign up for this? You know, like it's gonna be a lot of questions that come up, and you know, I think the it's just different these days, like you said. Yeah. How you feel about the passport bros? Because their 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 whole argument, especially the Save Yourself movement, their whole argument is Western women, particularly Western Black women, are too far gone. They too masculine. They too this. But you can still find some of those traditional values in Africa and. Mm -hmm. Asia and South America, mm -hmm. how do you feel about their kind of approach? And they just saying, I work in tech, you know what I'm saying? I don't right. have to be here. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I'm out. I'm going to go to Brazil and just chill on the beach. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's to each its own. I feel like if you feel like the type of woman you're looking for is not where you at, it's okay to go where you need to go in order to find that type of woman. Um, for me, I think I still think there's women here in the U.S. It's you know it's something still out there. And I still have hope for them, but dang, it's hard, <laughs> you know. So I still think it's hope. It's just about finding the right the right groups and things of that nature. And even if you find the right group, sometimes it's still some bad apples in there too. So it's ne it's nothing concrete these days. Even if you do go somewhere else. It still isn't concrete that you're gonna find what you're looking for and what's gonna, you know, cater to your life the best. So, what risk you willing to take?